Hey everyone, my name is Darby and I work in the Incubation Engineering Department at GitLab. Today I want to talk about a feature that we've been working on called Project Level Secure Files. Uh, this is a new feature that we've been developing to hopefully make it easier for teams building mobile apps to manage their provisioning profiles and secure certificates and all of the various assets that are needed to, to build a mobile app. The Project Level Secure Files are stored outside of version control and you can access them from the project itself. I'm going to walk you through how this feature works and hopefully give you a better understanding of, of how to set this up with your project. So right here on my screen, I've got the documentation. So we'll, we'll come back to this in a second. Over here is a, just a demo project that I've got set up to walk through this feature. To get started, I'm going to go over to settings and go into CICD. And once this page loads down at the very bottom, we'll see a section for secure files. So you can go right into here to uh, manage them. Right here, this is what a project is going to look like if there are no secure files. And then I can just click here to up upload one. So I'll upload this provisioning profile and I'll upload these certificates as well. All right, so now I've got a few files in here and I'm ready to, to test these. So from in here, you can obviously upload more files or you can delete files if uh, you have the wrong file or if, if you need to replace it with something else. So you can do all that right here. So then, now that we've got the files up in our project, what do we do with them? Let's go ahead and set up a pipeline. And to do that, I'm going to here. All right. So I'm just going to go over to the docs because I've got a little snippet in here that I can use. So down here at the very bottom, I've got this sample, which I'm just going to copy and paste into here. And what this is doing is this is going to just set up a test job and there's one configuration that I give it, and then this, this script that I'm going to use to download the files and use them within the project. So this configuration here, this is just telling the job where the files should go. So when it goes to download these files, where should it put them? So I'll just say demo file folder. And then down here in my script then, why don't I just echo those out so that I can see that the files are there. So I'm going to do uh, like an ls of demo file folder and that's it so once i save this here I'll commit those changes and i typed that wrong so let's go ahead and fix that all right let's try that again and then over here in my pipelines i should see a job get kicked off for this I should see two actually so i'll go ahead and stop that one and let's see what this one does. All right, so this job is finished. And so what we can see has happened here is we've run the command. So it's gone and downloaded the files and then it put them in the folder that I configured. So I can see here that those three files that we had uploaded are now showing up in the folder in the, in the runner job. So this is a very simple example, obviously, but you can imagine that you could kick off a, a build process or, or whatever it is you need to do that uses these files to create your mobile apps or, or whatever apps you're building. So you can see here, it's pretty easy to get started with project level secure files. All you need to do is uh, upload the files and then configure your runner job to download them for your project. Go ahead and try them out in your project today and let us know how that goes. We'd love to get any feedback you have on this feature. Thanks.